Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreign Farming in the Philippines. So, plenty of water in the pond to do an irrigation now. The fish are back in it, so the water has richened up some. I'm going to, I'm going to, look, I'm not going to feed these fish anything even close to what they would need for a grow out. But I'm going to throw a couple kilos of uh, feed in here every day just to get them used to eating. Every little bit of feed that I throw in there is basically just uh, throwing a, a little bit of fertilizer. Um, I don't know, there's probably, with the breeders and all the fingerlings that we threw in here, there's probably a couple thousand fish in this pond. And uh, that will be sufficient for uh, a little irrigation. So I'm going to uh, feed these uh, because they do need a bit more than uh, the natural food in the pond because there isn't that much natural food in the pond. There's no, al there's no algae in it uh, to speak of. And so they do need a little bit of supplemental feed at least for a month. Well, probably just uh, moving forward, I'll just keep uh, feeding them. I'm going to, as you can see, there, there's, there is water coming in. Uh, I'm going to um, stop running the pump uh, at night. I didn't run it last night. I didn't run it the night before. This is all just solar pumping. Uh, it hasn't filled it, but as you can see, it's sprinkling. So uh, maybe we'll get a, a nice heavy rain uh, and I won't even have to to uh, run it during the daytime we shall see but this is looking uh, okay it's good enough for an irrigation but if we get a good rain won't be necessary this is our little field of Kang Kong here and it uh, as usual is doing very well more here than we can use right now now we do have four more pigs coming on and hopefully a few more chickens. Uh, the hens are sitting on eggs, so uh, hopefully uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll get we'll be close to being able to utilize all this. That little patch right there, that's what uh, Jen Jen took out yesterday. It's only uh, for our needs uh, right now. It's only like a six foot by six foot square that is harvested daily. And as you can see, there's a lot of Kang Kong in there. Uh, I had thought that maybe uh, at some point we would dam this up so that I could have a just a small Azola slash Kang Kong area. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough water uh, to keep this. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be deep at all. With the Kang Kong uh, acting as a shade cover. Uh, the Azola wouldn't need much water, probably four, four to six inches. I was thinking about uh, just damming that up a little bit there, just making a, uh, a little dam there to hold water in this, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough water. It remains to be seen. Uh, I want to I make sure I can get the field through this dry season without doing something like that. So we'll see how things go. It takes about, well, it would take pumping water during the day, every day, uh, uh, to keep up with irrigation. Uh, that would, you know, that, and that means running the pump like eight hours a day during the day to replenish it uh, enough before the next uh, irrigation would be due like every four or five days or so. So, um, and, and that's and that's the quote unquote free water uh, just using the solar I really don't want to have to spend money on electricity to run that pump overnight and that's probably what I would have to do to have that uh, little area here in both Azola and the King Kong and whether or not we would get enough Azola out of it to justify the electricity use that's a uh, uh, that's something I haven't been able to figure out yet. We got so many other things here that needs to be doing that needs to be done that 
this is going to be on hold uh, pretty much the same as the uh, fish pins in this pond. Now, if if at some point we do move ahead with the the fish in this pond, then I will uh, put a little dam in here and raise both the Azola and the King Kong because uh, then we won't have enough and uh, keeping it wet will just give us that much more because it'll be used as a, as a small feed supplement for the fish. But right now we're just feeding it to the pigs and the chickens. Uh, I have put some in the breeding tanks to hopefully keep the fish that we have there uh, eating and cut down on the feed there so that I can put more feed uh, into the pond here. It all, it all kind of hinges on, uh, it's all budget as you guys know. So uh, things are looking good for the most part. Need to do some serious mowing around here but Tata has been busy at Mike's. It's just you know there's only so many hours in the day and so many of us that can do it. I took the beginning part of this video about four o'clock yesterday afternoon and it had started to sprinkle at that time about like what it's doing right now but overnight it rained all night not a heavy rain but just like a drenching rain never any never the gully washer that can sometimes happen here As you can hear we got some happy frogs out there probably got a couple inches of rain overnight just a steady uh, medium rain and it brought this pond up about six eight inches which is a good thing so it's about a foot down from being full because I consider it full when that drain pipe right there is uh, beginning to drain so not quite full yet but uh, I have I have not looked at the satellite so I don't know uh, how much more rain I could expect I wanted to come up here and look at the inflow to see how much is coming in it just it's about 8 8 8 30 in the morning it's just stopped raining really I can hear the water running but I can't really see it Yeah, so we got a little, a little trickle there coming in from both sides. That's at least equal to what I, the amount I would be pumping in if I was using the pump. So free water, I like it. So I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be doing any pumping for the next couple of days, several days. Because of this rain, I don't need to do an irrigation. Now, uh, having the plastic down in the fields helps hold the moisture in, helps keep the weeds down, but it also keeps the uh, rain that we do get from uh, saturating the raised beds. The only inlet for the water when it rains is the holes where the plants are so this rain is a good thing and it will stave off having to do an irrigation for several days but it doesn't like saturate the plants because it only allows that small amount of the rain uh, to go onto the raised bed so while it is uh, definitely a good thing it's not a a total solution uh, but uh, we're, we'll take what we can get thank you everyone please like comment share and subscribe